Good evening, Luis Perez. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello. You're the first Good one. evening. Good evening. You are the first one in class. Yeah. How I, was how I was so. yeah? <laughs> how was work? Yeah, uh, was very tired today. Tired, huh? And, and today was it Wednesday? Yeah. Today, no, today is Thursday, huh? Thursday. Thursday, yes. So, and how are you doing on the platform? Yeah. yeah. How are you doing on the platform? Are you done? I'm done in the black. On the platform, platform. I platform. do. The platform is where we work. Uh, in my case, I did a uh, 5.3. 5.3. 5.3. I think I don't remember. Oh, okay. Very good. Excellent. What, what, what I did uh -huh. yesterday. Okay. I don't remember what I, what, what I did yesterday. Okay. But if you are working on that five, section five, then you are okay. Because uh, we are supposed to finish section four uh, today. And we are already on section uh, five. So... Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're, yes. you're you're fine. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Alexis. How are you today? Hi. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, sir. How was for good traffic? Everybody. Hey, Walter. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. And how was traffic? It was jam? Uh, very, very busy, the traffic. Oh, my God. It was busy. Okay. Very good. But uh, at least we are home, right? Okay. So yesterday, we were, well, we finished. Uh, very good. Good. Good for you. I like uh, the... Uh, um the color of your wall it's like a yellow huh the wall the background yeah. the wall yes, yes. Uh -huh. it looks nice My wall. Yeah, it looks nice very good thank you teacher all right very good okay so yesterday we were finishing uh, chapter four right and today we're gonna be uh starting chapter uh five I see I was uh, going through the list uh, and uh, a lot of uh, of you guys uh, have not finished uh, ch chapter four and uh, have not done the uh, the midterm. So I um, hopefully you have this weekend to finish that. Uh, uh, remember that we need to finish 80% uh, of the platform, not you, the other ones, the other ones that have not uh, done it yet. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna um, we are going to um, start uh, on chapter five today, and before we do that, uh, I want to ask you um, if you remember we have five w seven wh questions. Can you tell me which one are they? My case finished yesterday. That uh, statements. Yes. Okay. So we have the five WH questions and um, we went over them yesterday. We said that the, we have a what question, we have a why questions, we have when questions, we have where questions, we have um, uh, which questions. And um, we went over and we say that uh, the reason why we ask uh, each of them is for something specifically, right? Like, for example, when we use what, what is that when I'm looking 
and information. I'm looking for information about the person. I'm asking the question, what? For example, I can say, what do you do for a living? What, uh, what is your name? What is your address? What is your telephone number? So I'm looking for information, yeah? And when I ask why, I'm looking for a reason. Why are you late today? Why you have not uh, finished the platform? Yes, I'm looking for a reason, that's it. Uh, explanation, something that uh, um, will uh, tell me why you have not done something that uh, you've been asked for it or anybody has been asked for it. So that's the reason why we, uh, we asked on. And uh, when we use the when question, WH question, when is used when I want to know about the time, when it happened, when did it happen? No? When are you taking your vacation? When are you going to visit your family? When are you going to take your vacations? When are you going to start working? So when I use the WH question, when just to know the time. Uh, I mean, the, yes, the time. And where we use the WH question, where to know the place. Where do you live? Yes, I, I want to know the place. Where are you going for uh, your vacation? Where are you um, living now? Where are you standing? So it's a place, yes? Okay, and which? We use which whenever we have two options. Which, if I have option A and option B, and I want to ask you which one do you, what is your option? I say, which one do you prefer, A or B? And then you choose one, yeah. So that is the, the WH question, which that we used uh, for options, okay? And um, that is what we went over yesterday, correct? Do you remember that? Yeah. Okay, so today we are going to um, practice uh, our reading. And, um, but yes. Yes, Walter? No, only, only see the structure. Oh, the structure. The structure. The structure, yes. Structure, structure. Yes, so um, in, on the structure, we, um, we're going to be learning that, uh, well, we know this structure. I already uh, taught you the structure, the structure before. Um, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be taking, we're going to be uh, like uh, analyzing each uh, sentence. For example, this one says, what sports do you play? I want to know just information, yeah? For example, if I want, if I, if I want to sell you uh, an item like a, a soccer ball, or I want to sell you a basketball or a volleyball, something, I, I need to know if what sport is that you practice. So in this case, what sports do you play? And remember that, do you play? I can say what sport you play. And that's the way some people, uh, a lot of people uh, will uh, um, ask you the question, what sport you play? But that is not the right way to, to say it. the structure of the sentence is not, is not complete. It's not completed. So we need to include a do, which is the, uh, the auxiliary verb, into the sentence, uh, what sports do you play? For example, um, Alexis, if you want to ask me, um, if, I, if I'm a musician and you want to ask me if uh, about an instrument that I play, how would you um, manage to ask me the question? ¿Cómo harías la pregunta, Alexis? Si me querías preguntar si toco algún instrumento o, o qué instrumento toco. Alexis? Are you there? 